One, hey, hey two, hey, one, hey, two, hey, hey three, hey, hey four, hey. with passion. <laughs> I hope everybody is well. Uh, today we will be talking about tips and tricks for actors on film mm -hmm. and on stage since we both have our repertoires yes. and our expertise. So um, we're so happy for any fellow actors that are joining us and anyone else who mm -hmm. is joining on in. I think this is going to be a super fun segment. Yes. And um, as always, you know, your girl's got some helpful tips for you. So, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> for the last couple weeks. People have been asking oh, about us. They've been Lord, asking. Lord, 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 Lord. I've been busy being a mother. Mm. My daughter's back in school mm. and happily she's uh, started back at gymnastics yeah. and back at aerial dance. So mm. I'm just really happy that uh, she's being active again, even though we're both uh, at home 24 hours with uh, the COVID, well, with the shutdown, mm -hmm. right? I work from home. She's schooling from home. So that's an interesting environment, our dual offices in the kitchen and the living room. So, nice. uh, but yeah, but it's been, it's been nice acting wise, you know, I'm just waiting for things to open up. As you know, you saw a demo of my website that's coming up. It's so that's beautiful. exciting. And, uh, yeah, you I know, yeah, I'll be, I'll be, gorgeous. yeah, I'll be launching and submitting soon. So, yeah. you know, just kind of gearing up for that but always the holidays are coming up too this mm -hmm. is halloween actually so yeah. happy holidays pre-recorded Pre oh, and what is uh, it? los dias del matos well, that was yesterday, but pretty no, much, no, yes. Yes. But yes. For me, it's the whole, <laughs> the the whole month yes. Yes, that yes, we yes. celebrate. Yeah, I did my incantations tonight is the big um, set up for the blue moon. The blue moon. Big, big, big. Yes. So, do your things. Make your manifestations. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. What's been going on with you, Ladios? Ah, uh, just uh, waiting to see you again. Aww. Miss my partner. Oh, yeah. that's sweet. Yeah. I missed you, too. Yeah, we just, you know, we're just getting ready for the holidays. Uh, they're coming up like boom, boom, boom. Oh, we do set our clocks back to Tonight. I'm so excited. You're I love really? to sleep. Yes. <laughs> Everyone's saying, I don't want an extra hour of COVID. I'm like, yeah, bring it. I need more sleep. Yeah. I need more beauty. Rest. Yeah, so all's well over here. Uh, so let's get started. Let's get started. Okay, you let's... want me to lead it off yes, with some please. tips and tricks for the yes, theater? For sure. My the theater. first one is to be bigger than life. I mean, in the audition room, every way, shape, and form. If you can bring in different levels, I mean, if you can go from the floor to mm -hmm. up here and using all your space, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, people will love that, yeah. especially in the theater. What I love about the theater is that it's like a microscope, right? You yeah. can be up in the rafters, but sometimes you'll you'll still see that snare on somebody's lip. You'll still see, you know, these minute little things that happen, but that all comes from the actors really emoting and really giving giving it their all in expression and body movement and all of that. So that's my first tip and trick yes. for the stage is to just be bigger than friggin' life if you can. <laughs> Big. <laughs> Big. Yes. Okay. yes. How about you, Ladios? Oh, okay. So my first tip <laughs> for film would be the opposite. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be big. It's little subtle movements, mm. little gestures. Mm -hmm. And it's really about the eyes. The eyes tell the soul to the story. So you could be upset. You could be serious. You can be happy. But you're not big. So true, so true. That was the hardest thing for me. That's the hardest transition yeah. when I started taking some acting on uh, camera classes mm -hmm. is, uh, yeah, to tone it down, mm -hmm. bring it down. I'm yeah. like, that was constantly my feedback, um, which uh, I try, you know, I, I, I do, but yeah. It's <laughs> it, it, will, it will come 
and it she's comes. getting ready to transition into the yes. film world. I'm super excited about her. She's I got am. some really good stuff. I'm not going to yeah. reveal it, but it's exciting. It is. Okay. It is. Fine. I hope you'll help it too. <laughs> Here. Anyway, I got you back. <laughs> so number two, mm -hmm. I'd say uh, again, going to the audition room, you want to have at least probably two monologues memorized and ready. Mm -hmm. And those two monologues, I think for theater, should really showcase um, your range. Mm -hmm. uh, I know for me, funny is my natural, so I have a kind of funny, sexy, weird dream sequence where I get to be frantic and all kinds of all over the place, but it's a great monologue and it's landed me a couple of roles and um, you know, you want to have something serious. Mm -hmm. But on the other on the other side of that coin, not only spotlighting yourself, mm -hmm. but maybe having about 10 monologues that you like mm -hmm. and that might fit a certain play or certain, you know, at, uh, uh, what am I trying to say, um, attitude or uh, um, emotion that's coming forth in a play. You don't want to show up at an audition with something funny mm -hmm. when it's a, a melancholy uh, tale of, of death and woe, right? You know, that'll, that'll be, hey, the director will be like, what? You don't even so, care. So you right? have two contrasting monologues, <laughs> like a, a, a drama and a comedy. Yes, yeah. yes, How did absolutely. You know, I always, I always have trouble with that, the, the comedy. I always have dry comedy. Is that does that play well too? I think so. Yeah. I think yeah. so. Mine's I think like the a dramedy key is to with mm -hmm. comedy is do you got to believe it mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So if you're being ditzy, you got to be that ditzy. You got to be that duh, mm -hmm. um, and that can be hard. To, it, it's just acting though, mm -hmm. right? It's just a matter of technique. Mm -hmm. So absolutely, um, if you can commit to that dry tone mm -hmm. and you know yeah. not revealing the but of but you know because there's a lot of ways that you can reveal what you're doing so if you can stay that yeah. that but yeah I think everybody should practice that and get outside of your mm -hmm. comfort zone for me my my non-comfort zone would be serious roles like right. more dramatic pieces and I'm the opposite but I definitely have to have one of those in my wheelhouse because mm -hmm. it's just you got to bring it, right? Tragos, commas. Yes. So much, right? <laughs> like him. <yeah. laughs> yeah. That's interesting. I didn't know that the, the more serious roles were more... And see, I'm the opposite. Like, Yeah, we are very... Yeah, we, yeah. we definitely are. I, and, and I'm trying to push myself out for more comedy. Like, I, you know... But, yeah, that's, yeah. that's funny. Yeah, yeah. And I'm trying wow. to push myself out more for, like, more, you know, hard impacting. But, I yeah. I got an yeah. idea yeah. already. <laughs> Her wheels are turning. I love it. I love this girl. <laughs> so, for auditioning for a uh, film, there's two things. If you get your script in advance, be off book. Mm -hmm. Flat out, be off book. Okay? And it's okay to hold your script up while you're auditioning. Because sometimes you can drop a line. But stay in character if you do drop a line. But be off book. And um, sometimes you'll get the script when you arrive. So it's okay as well because you can hold it out like this, but remain in character when you're auditioning. Mm. So that's tip number two. Even if you drop a line and you're like, and line. And yeah. keep going. Don't break exactly. character. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's a that's such a great tip. Yeah. And that carries over to the audition process mm -hmm. and in rehearsals mm -hmm. for theater as well. You know, if you're doing blocking or remember how many times Hugo would get on, on me because I always say, Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I basically stop. broke character, yes. and you know, as as much as it's wonderful to work with somebody that's nice and polite, mm -hmm. do your damn job yeah. and stay in character, you know. Yeah. And it was a valuable uh, lesson to learn, yeah. Because yeah, and it'll carry over to film, yeah. Because that's where it's even more important to really stay there and keep your focus, and yeah, yeah. So that's a really great tip. Yeah, one mm -hmm. thing you'll learn. Uh, the cool thing about film is, well, there's a, there's a good and a bad. With theater, once you do it, you, you give 100% that yeah. day. You got one shot. Mm -hmm. With film, you have 1,000 shots. Yeah. So if you can cry 1,000 times, my hat's off to you. 
<laughs> after so long, I'm drying up tears. You got some yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, So my third tip for the theater is to project. Mm. Uh, you have to have a voice in the theater and hopefully a voice that can carry you to the rafters. Mm. And that is just, again, bigger than life. Um, because, yeah, you don't know how big your amphitheater is. Yeah. And everything is amplified. But again, they should be able to hear you way up here. So coming in and being mousy and love, yeah, that's not going to get it. So yeah, you do have to work on your voice and be willing to project and know what that is. It's not yelling. Mm -hmm. There's a huge difference. Can you give an um, example? Show. Oh gosh. Do Let's one see. yelling. How could you do that? That's yelling. Do a projection. How could you do that? So that's... <laughs> So, yeah, I, and I'm, I'm very blessed with a lot of vocal range, and, um, you know, I come from a, a really loud bunch of Mexicans that, like, you know, my, my uncle scared my son the first time that he met him. Hi, how you doing? And my, oh, who is this crazy guy? Um, but I didn't realize that we were all made for the theater. And, yeah, growing up, I'm like, oh, my God, my people like my voice now. Nice. And, yeah, I'm not big and booming and, and hurting people's ears. I'm actually appreciated. So that's a beautiful thing in the theater for people like me. <laughs> yeah, that's something I'm working on is my projection because mm -hmm. sometimes I, I do speak from here. And so uh, there's this great, uh, she, her name is Don Bino. I'll put her, her uh, video in the links, but she has some great mm, vocal exercises that I've been working on because projection is really big. Yes. However, the diagram. on the flip side of film, you don't need to project. It, again, it's yes. still about the eyes. Mm. You can even show sadness without having to show tears. And you can speak above a whisper. And there are times when you speak, um, when you do project, but it's still not loudly. Yeah. So that would yeah, be the, the contrasting part about film. Absolutely. Yeah. Think about it. The mics <laughs> and all of that. You'll get feedback mm -hmm. and all of these things. So, yeah. yeah, again, that's where the theater and film are so different. vastly different. Yeah. And, you know, you, uh, they both are, are awe-inspiring. You know, absolutely. Both for, for forms of uh, art are just amazing. But there are some little caveats that mm -hmm. I don't think everybody realizes yeah. when it comes to acting and actors and I do I usually when I'm doing rehearsals for theater I don't project until like a week before we open because, Which is smart. because I don't want to stress out any vocal cords and mm -hmm. but you know I should be exercising my diaphragm more mm -hmm. so the mm -hmm. diaphragm exercises are very important absolutely yeah. Yeah. so yeah so uh, my fourth tip mm -hmm. and this is kind of ties into what we were just talking about mm -hmm. but invest in some other skills mm -hmm. um, singing dancing musicals are integral to the theater yes, world so I have you sure you can be a straight drama actor mm -hmm. but you're really cheating yourself because it's so much broader if you can lend your talents to a musical uh, because there, that's just another level of emoting isn't it Do you just bust out into song I sing in the shower um, <laughs> well, that's I, one thing we got in common. <laughs> I love to and sing in my car and in my car but yeah uh, yeah I have to take lessons yeah. I have to work with coaches and mm. it, it's a grueling and hard process yeah. um, I have gotten better you you know karaoke I have some fans now just kidding um, but you know it's it's just a process so not natural for me at all but I absolutely invest in dance classes just about mm. every week I keep my skills up uh, on both those fronts and it actually lends to both forms of the art right yeah, you never know when there's does. a commercial yeah. where you might need a, uh, dancing or mm -hmm. any of that so I think that's uh, uh, maybe a tip just around the board right yeah, that's a to, great tip to just invest in some other skills yeah. and, and bring those to the table even like what do you think about sports and and things like that like uh, having well, that on your on your resume May. Yeah, I mean, and on your other task. I guess. I mean, yeah, yeah, it does. Else. When you're getting filmed, they'll ask you, do you do horseback riding or, or rollerblading? They'll ask you, what are some talents and skills that you have? So the world is your oyster. Mm -hmm. um, me, I'm, I'm investing in vocal co co um, uh, in a vocal coach right now, you know, nice. um, because I've, I've been offered roles to sing and I'm not confident. I can carry a tune. I can. Um, but I don't know if I can carry a song. <laughs> That's a big difference. Um, so voice coaching is always, even professional singers do invest still in voice coaches. Mm -hmm. um, 
activities. Um, also good, just know voiceovers are good. Oh yeah. So learning voiceovers, that's Huge. that's all a part of this field. You don't you Absolutely. should not limit yourself to the theater and 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 the screen. There's voiceovers. Yeah, um, improvisation. Mm -hmm. Improvisation. So I wanted to take an improv um, a couple of months back, but um, I didn't get in the class in time, so I have to wait for the next one. But I think okay. improv would be an area, Improv's you know. Huge. Yeah, and I, I think it's awesome. You know, yeah. right now I'm improvising because I know what she was going to say. So I'm just building off of her. <laughs> I'm pretty quick with it. But um, comedy, I mean, there's so much to invest in this field on yourself, but you should always be investing in yourself no matter what it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you don't have to keep using the same teacher. You can use a different mm -hmm. teacher. Public speaking. Mm -hmm. Public speak speaking. Um, some people are afraid to speak in public. I am not. Huge. Um, you know, that's, you know, speech and communications mm -hmm. is a good way um, to help you get over your fear. Yeah. Um, so those are some areas. Those are some good that's tips. That's such a great tip. Yeah. You know, especially mm -hmm. if you're out there and you're like, oh, I really want to try it. I really want to try it. Mm -hmm. I'm so afraid. You know, yeah. a public speaking class is going to get you over that yeah. fear. Improv going to get you over that fear. It's going to make you feel more confident yeah. and like ready to take it on. So yeah, get those skills, man. And writing. Yeah, and writing's huge too. I, I know I'm going to invest in some writers' workshops as nice. soon as things open up because that's something that we I'm very interested in. Absolutely. <laughs> She's like, leave um, me alone, Ladia. Shut up. <laughs> I'm like, shut up. We can do that. <laughs> You know what? When, the thing about public speaking is like getting critique and feedback because yes. it'll help build your your skin, so you won't be thin skinned Yeah. So yeah. getting some hardcore critique, like mm -hmm. even like putting a, a what do you call a monologue blast on Facebook or Instagram and saying critique me. Yeah. That that will help you build up character. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's a great tip. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. um, so my my final tip Her is. Final. Um, well, and I'd say with theater, you usually at least get a good week to two weeks. So mm -hmm. I'm saying this with that caveat, that you have a little bit of time to prepare. Mm -hmm. And with that, study, study, mm -hmm. study. Study the playwright. Study the play itself. Mm -hmm. yeah. Study the director. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as much information that you can get on that play and where you fit into it, that's going to inform your monologue choice. Mm -hmm. That's going to uh, up your performance. You know, all those things. You know, mm -hmm. I remember not doing my my due diligence and walking into an audition that was really a British audition for white people like I, I just say it like that I'm sorry but I was so ill-prepared uh -huh. and felt like I had egg on my face and it was a great experience because I got to see some great talent yeah. but I really walked away saying never again Ray you're yeah. gonna look into what you're doing here like don't yeah. be that person that just throws the spaghetti against the wall and that is sometimes my philosophy but you know you should <laughs> do your due diligence and if you have the time yeah put in the effort and you know impress the people that you're going to audition for with having some no knowledge, you know, it's, it'll behoove you and make you a better performer, period. So mm -hmm. that's a good one. Um, yeah, I like that to add on to our last one about, you know, things about investing. Yeah. Accents. Oh, Learning accents are accents huge. Are yeah, really dialects. Good. Mm -hmm. But my final one would be is when you get that script ahead of time is to build a background story of your character. Yes. If you build a background story, it doesn't matter if it's right or wrong. It's your story because how your background story will reflect when you go for your audition and on film. And also one of the things is if you have that background story, story you're connected to your character. If you drop a line or you switch a word, it's still going to play great. You don't have to do it word for word as long as that character shows up on film. Yeah, So yes. that's important. Um, that would be my final tip. Awesome. Yeah, yeah great tip. This is a really fun episode yeah. for me. I think that we gave some pretty yeah. valuable information to our viewers. Yeah. So proud of you. I'm proud of you. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I missed her. It's been almost a month. It has. Yes, it's been a long time. So what do we tell people, Ladios? As uh, far as what? Oh, so have... in the meantime, in between time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be asleep. You don't have to be asleep to dream, so get up and get out and do something for yourself. I'm Ladios Muhammad, an actor with purpose. And I'm Raven Moon, an actor with passion. And we are actors, actors from, from the, the dark, dark side. side. <laughs>